Hey all, Russ here, our very TV. Welcome. Check it out. This is Highway 240. We're going to drop down. This is actually called the 240 loop that's going to go through the Badlands. But we're going to go check out. It's called Prairie Homestead. It's run by the state of uh, South Dakota. And it's a national site. You're supposed to be able to go in and check out uh, how they used to live way back when. So that would be a cool stop. Then after that, we're going to head into the Badlands. Yay! Wasn't that missile sight stuff cool? That Minuteman missile sight? National Historic Missile, missile Sight. <laughs> Mouthful. Okay, there's a gas station up here. It's kind of your last chance for fuel before you go into the Badlands Park. So you want to keep that in mind. You want to make sure you got a full tank before you run through that thing. Alright, here we go. Pretty day. It's been hot almost every afternoon. Humidity's up a little bit. Typical summertime hot days as August summertime weather, huh? Okay, should only be a mile or two up the road here. There goes an RVer. Here's a historic marker on the side of the road talking about the CCC, the ones that built all the national parks, all the camps they had. They created all these stuff that we're still using today, almost a hundred years later. Absolutely amazing what the CCC, Civilian Conservation Court, did. Okay, they always talk about the prairie dogs out here. They're little varmints that dig big coals. We're going to maybe see some at that prairie homestead. They showed pictures of it. This flat and open lot of farmland. Right there, you can actually stop. Look at the big statue of the prairie dog. You can actually feed them. I don't know if I'd put my hand down there next to them. But just wide open prairie flat ag field. Look how dry it's been in a drought here. All summer, all both Dakotas, Iowa, a lot of the different parts up here, and just south of it, they're getting more rain than they know what to do with. <laughs> Goodness. Well, we should be getting close. But these Badlands, too, it's amazing absolutely amazing you go across landscape like this then it instantly turns into big valleys and mountains and all kinds of good stuff way off in the distance is the badlands we're not there yet that group of trees right down there should be that uh prairie homestead but look how flat and open look at the ag fields you can tell where they've been watering and screen How'd you like to be a farmer out here? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be something? Far you can see, and right back there is I-90. The way we came in. This Highway 240 is supposed to go all the way over to Wall, South Dakota. Alright, there's a quick look. Let's get on into that uh, Prairie Homestead. Here it is here, right on the right hand side. Should be interesting. See how they lived back in the day. Looks open. 
see prairie dogs everywhere. Them guys are... There's holes everywhere. Here's our visitor center. Now this is run by the state. This is not a national thing here. It's by uh, South Dakota. They charge to get in. I don't think it's much. It's like five bucks or something. Let's see what this sign says up here. Doesn't look too busy. Sod home. 1854. Wow. There's the South Dakota State Seal. And they got kind of a log structure here. Here's a map of the area. See, we're not in the National Park yet. We've got a few miles. Okay, let's go on in. How much is it? Just me. Okay. Well, they got guided tours. I'm going to skip that. I just want to go check it out myself. Well, what we got here looks like a water well with an old hand pump on it. One of the homes says it was water, 30 feet deep well, dug by hand. Wow. That's a lot in this old rocky soil. Prairie Homestead. Look at all the holes. Look at all the prairie dogs. My goodness. I remember up Montana there was a bunch of them things too. They're part of nature, but they're destructive if they get too underneath your homes. Look at this. Old, old, old. This should be interesting. I still wouldn't want to hand feed one. <laughs> I like it back at that other place. Don't think so. What's this one? Welcome to the home of Mr. and Mrs. Ed Brown, 1909. Look at that. Here's their home. Can you imagine having your home turned into a museum someday? Wow, look at the structure. They built it into the dirt. Look at that. Help keep it cool in the summer and warmer in the winter. Look at the mud walls. Wow. Old stove. I'm sure it's been restored somewhat. Look, log beam, ceiling. Still standing. What we got in here? Lighting's not very good. This is their bedroom. I'll be darn. History. Here you go. Just more history. Old dining room table and have breakfast. Canned goods on the shelves. Pretty cool picture. And newspaper articles glued to the walls. A lot of time and effort goes into keeping something like this going. Here's the living room. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, this is where they sat. Probably watching RV or TV. Oh, no, they couldn't back then. <laughs> Oregon. 
A lot of these old places got an organ. That was their entertainment. Play music and sing. What do we have here? There you go. Fruit cellar. Can't go in it because the prairie dogs have made homes in there. So that was their refrigeration. Big old fruit cellar. There's the outhouse. All right, let's head down to the barn. It's not real big, but it's kind of cool stop. It was only uh, six bucks to get in here. I don't mind that as long as they keep it going. If it helps keeps restoring it for future generations, that's a good thing. Yeah, there's holes everywhere in this property. Farming wagon there. Oh, look at the big tub, boiler tub. Heck, you can wash your clothes. <laughs> wow. Bet that thing, I wonder how much that weighs. Oof. Alright, what we got here? Looks like the old barn. Aha! The Browns old car. I'd say it's been in there since 1909. Tires are rotted off of it. Back in the day, that was modern transportation. You were styling one of those. A lot of holes in the barn, but it's still standing. What we got down here? Looks like his workshop. Did his own blacksmithing, probably. Worked on his uh, equipment. Well, pretty well done. Not bad for... Uh, Homestead, it's uh, what, over a hundred and, oh man, 120 years old. I don't know, looks like something still, oh look, they got goats. <laughs> so they still got critters here. Look at them lazy bones. What a life, huh? They get the people watch. <laughs> Eat some good grass and hay and uh, people watch all day long. <laughs> Too funny. Not a bad little stop. Check it out. You get down this way. It's right, right before you get down to the Badlands. We're about, I don't know, maybe uh, five miles from the entrance of the National Park. Somewhere around there. Cute little stop. Take a break. See a little bit of history. Well, coming up next will be the Badlands. We're going to drive through that big national park. Well, too cool for school. The journey continues. Talk soon.